Well, oh my goodness, it has been a very long time since I've read this to you guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I never finished this. It's such a good one. Um, if you haven't seen any of this whole series so far, um, welcome to the Jesus Storybook Bible. This is a beautiful paraphrase um, of the Bible for kids, and it just continually reminds them of the rescue plan that God gave his children in Christ. So um, <clears throat> we'll just jump right into it. This is going to be chapter 31. And this is about the feeding of 5,000 from Matthew 14, Mark 6, and Luke 9. So here we go. There were once 5,000 tired and hungry, and probably very grumpy, people sitting on a hillside, wanting their dinner. They'd come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast. They stayed all morning, all afternoon, and way past dinner. No one had meant to be out there that long, but that's how it was, listening to Jesus as if time didn't exist. People could listen to Jesus for hours, and on this particular day, that's just what they did. They hadn't brought enough food, and they couldn't just go and buy themselves a burger and fries to go because, of course, they were in the middle of nowhere with no shops or restaurants. And besides, that kind of food wasn't invented yet. What would they do? Jesus' friends had an idea. Let's send everyone home for dinner. They don't need to go, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way to town to buy food? for everyone? Jesus' friends panicked, but we don't have enough money. What food do you have? Jesus asked. Go and see. Now, there was a little boy in the crowd, and he had brought a lunch that his mother made for him that morning. He looked at his five loaves and two fish. It wasn't much, not nearly enough for 5,000, but it was all he had. I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw this, his little lunch. Uh, that's not nearly enough, they said. But they were wrong. Jesus, didn't, uh, Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had. God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring me what you have. And so the little boy gave his lunch to Jesus. Jesus winked at the little boy and whispered in his ear, watch. How in the world will Jesus feed everyone with just that, Jesus' friends said, because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in the, begin, in the oceans, and Jesus knew the one who, in, every, in the very beginning, had made everything out of nothing at all. How hard would something like this be for someone like that? Jesus took the little boy's lunch, looked up to heaven, and thanked his father. Then Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends. As Jesus' friends started to hand out the food, do you know what? It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there was always more, and more, and more, enough for 5,000. Everyone ate as much as they wanted, second helpings, third helpings, even fourths until they were full, and still there were leftovers. Well, Jesus did uh, many miracles like this, things people thought couldn't happen that weren't natural. But it was the most natural thing in all the world. And uh, it, it, it's what God had been doing from the beginning, of course. Taking, taking nothing, taking the nothing and making it everything. Taking the emptiness and filling it up. Taking the darkness and making it light.